Okay, here we are previewing this Sunday's auction at Clark, Sunday, February the 25th. Please note that this time we are starting at 11 a.m. Give you more time to get home for dinner, etc. Okay, we're going to start over here with this wonderful Regina self-winding uh, musical box stand-up model. I believe it's a model number 34. Has all the discs in it. They move up, they clip here, and they play. This is came from a local estate, conservatively estimated at four to six thousand. Very rare. We have lots of used furniture in the sale, um, but of note, we have this sewing stand. It is actually signed as a cabinet maker from Boston. And typically, I can't get it open. There's a cabinet's name from Boston on it. ClarkNY.com. Atop this, we have a Victor Vassarelli sculpture. I believe it's titled NBC. It's a limited edition, I can't give it to you because I don't have my glasses on, but Victor Vassarelli, Victor Vassarelli, tied, let me see. And here, this is, comes from Irvington, and this is really wonderful, really rare, so it's a great thing, good, good investment, I would say, for people. It's called the Salamander Screen, it's by William Hunt Dietrich. Some issues on it, as slightly as is, the provenance on it is wonderful, it came through the family and from the artists himself. We got some issues along the feet, some small losses, but it's a big screen, it's rare, and it's easily repaired, so it's a wonderful piece. There's a little piece missing here. But a really wonderful, that, that's, I believe, estimated 20 to 30,000. Before we go in the main room, we have a lot of Favreau glass, but this one here is a beautiful, what they call a counterbalance, gilt bronze counterbalance, Tiffany lamp, signed uh, LCT on the Favreau shade, and Tiffany Studios on the base. Here from, uh, this, this piano came from Bronxville, actually. We have another one inside from Darien. It's a Steinway, I believe a Model M. Fate Lieberman will come in and play that for our clients. Here, this is one of two bronzes. We've had this artist before, sort of, I think we hold a record where the only people really have sold them. It's a, a beautiful, beautiful bronze sculpture by an artist called Benton Seltzer. We have two in the sale. Look at the size of that, really magnificent. Only six to 900 estimate. Moving in the main room, not as loaded as usual, but a lot of good gems that are going to make up for the not being loaded. The snow kept us from the hunting. Here, from also from an Irvington state, a state, we have a wonderful Buddha head, stone head, nice antique one. We have a little in the Shinwazari little writing desk, also from that estate. With some nice Chinese items in the sale, some jade and porcelains. In the porcelains, we have this Canton enamel decorated bowl. Nice large bowl, slightly as is, an old repair, hardly noticeable, but there is an old repair on it. Passing the showcases quickly, we have this wonderful ginger jar here, probably mid early 19th century, with a nice jade sensor. We have some Mizen, we have Sevs, moving along in here. I'll just pull this out because it's sort of, she's an important artist, Kathleen Wheeler, Bronze of a Bull. This came from a Long Island estate. For collectibles, we have this bank. It's the Happy Bear Bank, I believe. We have lots of bronze sculptures. We have more Favril lighting down here. And that one, I believe, is Bradley and Hubbard. We've got this rather large piece of Stuben while we're talking about Favril glass. This came from Manhattan, actually, as did this wonderful, wonderful, look at the quality of this bronze urn. Patinated in Gilts Bronze, 61st Street, I believe, in the city. More bronzes, Girondelles, Murano glass. Look at this, is actually called a Milia Fiori jug. It's together with that large vase. Nice item moving along here. We got lots of mid-century. We have a nearly, a nearly complete bedroom set by Edwin Spence, but we're selling it as the two end tables, the long dresser, the high dresser. We have this Carl Springer. Good condition, this comes from a Long Island, Ros Long, or somewhere in Long Island. We have the goatskin table. Moving up here from New York City, New York City, we have a wonderful signed Wyatt. It's a split bamboo table. Great for the modernists, they love this table. The split bamboo, it has two leaves that go on the bottom, wonderful patina. Sitting around it, we have, I believe two, four, 10 chairs by Christian Lieger for Holly Hunt, beautiful silver gilt, and if you're buying the duo, they go great around the table. Over here from a local New Rochelle estate, super quality Louis Philippe style server. Nice marble top, we've got mirrors. From Darien, Connecticut, we have this Black Forest Epern, look, beautifully carved with the dark wood, the birds and the nice etched glass insert. 
Over here we have a really wonderful cabinet, burl walnut, beautiful mixed inlay, exotic wood inlays. Has a press button here that opens it up and it's signed on the back, Silas Kopf, dated, titled and dated 1988, it's on its own stand, wonderful and rare piece. While we're on the mid-century vein, let me just catch this table over here, it's different. It's by Philip and Kelvin Laverne, it's etched, cut out, signed, but totally different than the other ones, bronze. Okay, for Laverne, this is a great and rare table. Moving along, we have, of course, plenty of 19th century and regular furniture. We've got this nice American commode, one, two, three, four drawers. We have this Swedish 18th century commode. Low size, but nice, nice original marble. Nice early commode, probably locked or someone must have something stashed in there. We have nice settees. A lot of nice sort of 20th century French decorative furniture from the New York City 61st Street. Look at this wonderful little vitrine here. Demi Lune, but all the bells and whistles for the decorators. From the same estate, we have this figural carved and gilt decorated console with the arch mirror. We have lots of nice, look at the size of these sconces with the lyre on them. Dining room sets. This from Darien here, we have a nice pair, a wonderful pair of mahogany cabinets. Nice to have a pair. Nice age on them. Nice slightly curved on the original glass. Probably Regency. Lots of pairs of chairs, consoles. Back to the mid-century vein, we have a pair of these George Nelson match pair of these cabinets. Slightly little chips on them, nice to have a pair. I quite like these, I don't know who they are, but they're good heavy duty steel and brass with the wood handles, mid-century. Not signed, but numbered. As you're going along, you'll notice we have lots and lots of carpets. And over here, this actually came from New Rochelle. You gotta look at this, this is large and the marble weighs a ton. The boys are killing me over this. It's a Louis XV1 carved and gilt wood console. The marble has to be two inches thick here, nice beveled marble. This came from a big mansion in New Rochelle. I believe estimated three to 5,000. The gilding's slightly dirty, but that's how it came out of the house. Atop this, look at this. I believe this is Sevs, look at the size of that. You can put a horse in there, okay. Over here, I actually particularly like this. This is a campaign two-piece stand. This folds down into to there. And it also has, if I can find the right section, beautiful leather top little writing desk that lifts up. This came from Bedford. Wonderful two-piece. Nice German commode. We have lots of mirrors, Trumo mirror there. Over here is the other piano. This is a large, this is a grand piano. This came from Darien, I believe it's estimated six to nine thousand. Wonderful piano, Steinway, a one of two. Faith Lieberman will come in and play both of these. We'll try and video them and we'll put them at ClarkNY.com. Over here, also from Darien, a lot of early stuff from Darien. We have this nice early sideboard. Slightly as is, but nice shape, nice banding. And we'll refinish up really well. Nice sets of, a lot of nice French furniture actually in the sale. Both period and of the style. We have bull cabinets, grandfather clocks. I'm just gonna wander into this back room quickly because I have a couple of items here I need to show you. This is from Pelham. It's a name's chaise, chaise it's called La Chaise. Nice, wonderful condition. Below it, what's probably a Horner carved desk. Lots of items in here. Getting towards the finishing line now. More Louis Baker, signed Baker, Louis XV1 style furniture. And this table here is absolutely beautiful, a bit dusty, but comes with six chairs. Look at the pedestal, look at the shine and the patina on that. Wonderful set with six chairs, I believe conservatively estimated at 1,000 to 15. We have lots of mid-century. This is by, this set is by Tobias Scarpa. Nice three piece and we have a two piece. I'm just gonna point a bit now. Over there we have a beautiful Chinese opium bed. The other Benton Seltzer, Benton Setzer bronze sculpture on it. We have Aldo Tura tea carts. Before we get to the finish line, I just wanna point out this. I couldn't find another one, that's probably very rare. It's a carved and painted dog form uh, carousel horse. Nearly looks like something that would have been in Disney or something like that, but that's beautiful. Estimated 1,000 to 1,500. Oh, we have lots of musical instruments. We have tubas, 
We have plenty of B&G porcelain. We have Wedgwood. We have a very large set of this Wedgwood. On the Chinese front, we have this wonderful Sang de Boeuf vase. We have lots of snuff bottles. We have Viewer, we have Celadon, we have Satsuma. We have this nice jade bowl with the fish relief in it. Sitting at that came from Darien. We have another beautiful cloisonne, lidded sample or a sensor. We have lots of art glass. We have loads of goodies. And we have some nice Nantucket baskets. You need to look at these at ClarkNY.com. I believe one of them is very rare. They're both signed. And not that I'm a gun person, but we have a Winchester rifle. And with that, I'm going to bid you adieu, but I just want to remind you that the sale starts at 11 a.m. this Sunday, so you can get home nice and early for your din-dins and get the kids to school the next day. Previews Friday and Saturday, noon to six. See you then. Thank you. Welcome to our February 25th video preview. I'd like to jump right in with a very important work by Wilhelmina Barnes Graham. She's a Scottish-born painter and one of the foremost British abstract artists of the 20th century. This oil on panel is called Small Vortex, and it was executed in 1951. This is part of her major body of work that was inspired by a 1949 trip to the Grindelwald Glacier in Switzerland. It was here that she became fascinated with the many shifting forms, the textures, and colors that she saw in these glaciers. And it was, the, it was her intent to depict the completeness of the glacier, every texture, the interior and exterior forms all on one small panel. So a very significant work from this period. It was through this collection of paintings that she gained recognition as an artist and achieved national and international fame in her exhibitions. This piece was exhibited at the William Jackson Gallery and also in a year-long international retrospective from 1989 to 1990. I will quickly flip around just to show you the back. This is the back of the frame. We removed it, it was behind glass here at the William Jackson Gallery labels. We have a catalog number, the artist catalog number, and the retrospective exhibition label as well. And I'll also show you the inscriptions on the back of the work. These are by the hand of the artist and also her studio manager. This is being offered at a four to $6,000 estimate on Sunday though we do have high hopes for the work. It's out of a local Larchmont, New York collection. There are several other pieces from that collection that I'm going to show you now. The next one is by Sonia Delaunay, the Ukrainian-born French artist who is also a colorist but worked in geometric forms. This is an etching and aquatint on paper. It's an approved artiste edition, inscribed lower left, pencil sign lower right, offered at a $1,500 to $2,500 estimate. A few others from this important Larchmont collection. Here we have a pastel on paper by Wolf Kahn, the German-born American painter. And he was known for her, his real, or is known for his realist works, um, but also his color field uh, paintings. And he worked often in pastel. Here we can see he really is an expert in color. He uses the complementary colors, purple and yellow, to create a vibrancy. This is called Haze Caught in a Valley, and it was painted in 1994. And down below, another work also from the same Larchmont estate. This is by John Worf. Worf was a Massachusetts artist and a, a worked mainly in Provincetown. And here we have a wonderful rainy day street scene. So here he's really captured the atmosphere of a balmy summer or spring day. I love the reflections that we see here in the puddles. And this was painted in 1928. We do have a signature and date down in the lower left corner. Now as we walk just across here, I'm going to show you two more quick pieces from that collection. This is by Sally Michael Avery, and she was the wife of Milton Avery. And you can see they have a similar aesthetic sensibility. They use these bold forms and rich colors, very simple outlines to depict the mountains here. This is called Reflections, and it was painted in 1986. We have a signature down in the lower corner. This is Sally Michael. That's always how she signed not to associate herself with the Averys, although clearly, her, stylistically, she's very much an Avery. This is estimated at 1,500 to 2,500. And up above, we have another Scottish painting. This is by Elizabeth Blackadder, 
and she's known mostly for her still lives and sometimes landscapes, often very primitive and simple forms here. This is a Venice canal, and you can see it's almost abstract. This has a Melrose London Gallery label on the back, and it's estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. This large painting behind me is by Alfred Wahlberg. He's a Swedish painter known for his atmospheric landscapes. And here we have a view of Cronenberg Castle at night. And it's a beautiful moonlit scene. You can see a sort of impressionistic effect, beautiful reflections on the water here. He did several different views and versions of this same landscape. This particular painting was offered for auction at Christie's in 2013 with a $20,000 to $30,000 estimate, but it is here to sell this Sunday with a four dollars to $6,000 estimate. I'm very excited about this set of six works by Andy Goldsworthy with Tom Lang. The collection is called The Box with Holes, and each is framed in wonderful lucite frames, and they are environmental gatherings from Forest Park in St. Louis done in 1986. It's very unusual to see environmental framed works by Goldsworthy uh, that you can actually hang on your wall. Most often we see his site-specific structures that are uh, in the form of photographs. So I'm, I'm very happy to present these pieces as something you can take home. The group of six is being estimated at $1,000 to $1,500 estimate and is accompanied by a signed title page by both Goldsworthy and Tom Lang. Just last week, a work by Willie Rochard James came into the gallery. It's a wonderful pastel on paper of the Seine River in Paris. Wonderful use of colors here. We have these strong, brilliant blues contrasting with the pinks and the simple figures walking along giving a little more depth to the work. This 20th century painting was purchased in 1993 at Christie's for just over $4,000 and is being offered at a two dollars to $4,000 estimate on Sunday. Now out of a New York storage unit, we have a collection of six gelatin silver prints by Barclay Hendricks. Barclay Hendricks, the contemporary black artist, is known mostly for his life-size portraits on canvas, um, but here we have motorcycle, a series of motorcycle prints these are called the Devil's Hard On, one, two, and three, done in 1976. They're all signed in the mounts. As well as a second grouping here of assorted images. We have the burlesque house. We have the Frenchman looking at mannequins here. And again, another mannequin piece. These were all done in the 70s and again signed in the mounts. Each of the lots will be offered at a $1,000 to $1,500 estimate. Now, as we come across here, I want to show you some works on paper. These are by Marc de Souvereau. And these are actually drawings for sculptures. This is called Albrecht Durer Forever. And you can see here, this was a construction. We have the A and the D of the Durer monogram. And this was actually exhibited at, exhibited at the New York Cultural Center back in the 1960s. We do have a label on the back. And next to it, we have another construction drawing also by de Souvereau. And this is computation for Durer Forever. So again, it's another drawing uh, as a preparation for a sculpture. These are being offered at 1,000 to 1,500 and 15 to 2,500 respectively. So far, we focus mostly on modern painting, but we do have some more traditional works in this sale. This piece I'd like to show you here is a Jean Racine by Roman Ribera Serrera. He is a Spanish Catalan painter, often known for his beautiful interiors. This is called the Rehearsal, and it's probably a turn-of-the-century painting. He was active in the late 19th century until about 1920. And this work is being offered at a two to $4,000 estimate and comes from a Great Neck Long Island estate. Once again, take a look at our online catalog for the remaining works of this sale. We hope you join us for previews this weekend and the auction Sunday at 11 a.m. Thanks. Hello and welcome to the auction preview of our February 25th auction with silver and jewelry. I'll start here with this wonderful Gorham hand hammered pitcher, just some leftover flower, beautiful flowers from Valentine's Day. But if you look at the hand hammered finish and then this beautiful grape and leaf motif to the, to the rim here and also the handle. Really nice out of a Manhattan estate, estimate of 600 to 900. 
Here we have a two-piece German silver service, nice sterling 925 silver German pitcher, along with this platter that I believe is 830 silver. Three-piece service here, again, German silver, all the details of the maker online, but a really great look to it, clean lines, all together at 600 to 900. Out of a Greenwich estate, we have this pedestal bowl. Kind of has a George Jensen, Danish modern feel to it, but I believe that it's Mexican. Estimate of 400 to 600. Moving on to our flatware services. We have this very large King Richard flatware set, heavy pieces, really nice serving pieces, large service. Um, Royal Danish, so international silver, service for 12. And then the ever popular George Jensen flatware set. This is in the Cypress pattern, 66 pieces, estimate of 2,500 to 3,500 out of a Nyack estate. Pair of Tiffany & Company silver soldered candlesticks. So they're not sterling, but they are quite lovely and they are Tiffany, all signed on the bottom. Uh, Rococo, really beautiful, estimate of 300 to 500. One of many assorted silver groupings in this auction. Um, just some pieces to take note of. This is wonderful. It's a coin silver Egyptian revival bread basket. Really great look to it. It does have a handle. There's some English silver. There's some Tiffany. This is Mexican silver. Um, also a, all these demi tasse spoons. So a service of 12 demi tasse spoons. German silver, 830. Also some English silver. So an interesting grouping out of an Irvington estate. Okay, and we're moving on to the jewelry here with lot number 300, which is this 2.2 solitaire round brilliant cut diamond. Um, it is with a, a full GIA certificate that we just got back last week. 2.2 uh, carat round brilliant cut color of M VS1 clarity. Really beautiful. It is out of the setting because it just got returned, but it with an estimate of eight to 12,000. Um, really nice sterling silver, lapis and amber bracelet, kind of a tribal feel, estimated at 300 to 500. And moving on to a small grouping of rings. Really, I love this ring. This is Tiffany and Company, 18 karat gold, platinum, topaz, and diamond accents. My favorite piece in this sale, actually. This is a, a star sapphire. So I don't know if you can see the, the phenomenal aspects of this gem, but it's really just so, 1920s Art Deco feel to it, flanked by diamond accents, estimate of 1,000 to 1,500. David Yerman piece with diamond accents, 400 to 600. And I'll move on to this three-piece sweep. So it's 14 karat gold with diamond accents and central emeralds. But if you just, and let me just lift this up for a minute, this central portion rotates and it's really just so sweet. All three pieces together at two to 3,000. Turquoise squash blossom necklace out of a New Rochelle estate. Really lovely, um, inlaid with turquoise. Uh, we do believe that it is Zuni, but a nice piece at 400 to 600. So here we have two, piece, two, two separate lots of 18 karat gold Tiffany & Company Atlas. So we have the pair of earrings at four to 600, and then the matching bracelet at two to 3,000. So they are fully stamped Tiffany & Co 18 karat. Beautiful 14 karat gold articulated bracelet, but it's got a great look to it. The great design, really looks nice on, a nice statement piece. Uh, four to 600, we have this Italian Cimento bracelet, two colors, so it is white gold and yellow gold, out of a, a local New Canaan estate. This is wonderful. Also, I, I just love this piece. So it's a, a Greek medallion or coin, set in 22 karat gold on this silver chain. Estimate of 400 to 600. Out of a large monastate, we have this really wonderful 14 karat gold bug brooch inlaid with diamonds, emeralds, rubies, topaz, etc. This was purchased in Burke, so it was purchased in Canada, and it has a replacement value of over 9,000 with an estimate in our upcoming sale for three to 5,000. But it's just the best quality. It's really a wonderful piece, beautifully made, beautifully crafted. Just how they inlaid all of these together. Wonderful piece, three to 5,000. Another piece out of our Nyack estate, we have this Hamilton 14 karat gold open face pocket watch with the watch fob, pocket knife, and small charm. Estimated four to 600, but in the original Hamilton case with the original box and the little pouch that it came in, quite nice. Uh, 14 karat gold bracelet with a hidden watch face and diamond accents. 
300 to 500 for this double strand pearl bracelet, but if you just look, these, this is a 14 karat white gold medallion here, or pendant sent with these, these triangular form diamonds. Really quite nice. Beautiful Italian 18 karat gold bracelet, but a wonderful design, unusual. I love the clasp, a really beautiful statement piece. From the same estate as our bug brooch bought at Burke's is this 18 karat gold ladies Bowman Mercier watch. Really lovely, estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. 14 karat gold screw head bracelet. So it has that kind of um, Cartier love bracelet feel to it but really quite nice, estimated at 700 to 900. Patek Philippe pocket watch. So it is a, a hunter case pocket watch with the applied monogram here, but it's really quite nice. Let's see if I can open it up for you so you can have a look at the face. 18 karat gold, great condition, 1,000 to 1,500. Had to sneak in this pair of Austrian silver candelabra because it didn't, didn't fit on the other side of the table, but really quite nice. It does come apart. So you can either have candlesticks, candelabra, and these flame finials do come off. Estimated eight to 1200, 800 silver. And if you like heavy gold bracelets, this is the place to be. 14 karat gold, sapphire, and pearl bands. We have this wonderful faceted and Florentine finish 14 karat gold bracelet. And then if I just sneak this over, we have this Florentine finish bracelet with earrings. Charm bracelet with various charms, really quite sweet. How, look how nice this one is, a little champagne bucket. Heavy 14 karat gold with a large photo album charm. Gold, another really great design. Beautifully articulated, nice varying finishes. 14 karat gold, jade and pearls. 14 karat gold, we have this wonderful 18 karat gold charm bracelet, probably my favorite in the sale. I love this charm, it actually opens up. So it is a locket and a little dog charm. So a little Scotty. We have this retro or vintage 14 karat gold hidden face ladies watch with rubies and diamonds. And then this kind of Bucciolati style, 14 karat gold acorn form earrings. So the two varying colors of gold. And this is wonderful. Antique platinum diamond and sapphire bracelet, four to 6,000. Really lovely, out of a New Canaan estate. We have this Italian 18 karat gold chain. Really nice, I mean, easy to wear, really beautifully crafted. Three piece suite of 14 karat gold sapphires and rubies, four to 600. Little turquoise suite, set in gold. A nice leaf or foliate form ring, 14 karat gold with round brilliant cut diamonds. And here is a Tiffany suite. So we have various sterling Tiffany items. This one's really nice with the original receipt, the original dust box and the original box along with these sterling items also all tiffany and this is just an individual piece out of a larger grouping but this came from a greenwich connecticut estate beautiful carved am amethyst beads with pearl accents and gold rondelles it's in a larger grouping but i really quite like this piece and then last but not least for our jewelry is this large assorted grouping of jewelry from our nyack estate this is a really nice chain easy to wear, great look to it. Various rings, cameos, charms, etc. all together at 800 to 1,000. And we'll move on to our grouping of Hermes scarves. So there's four Hermes scarves and then just a, a nice silk French scarf. I'm just gonna open this one up because it's my favorite out of the, the grouping. Really nice, all together out of Manhattan at 500 to 700. So this is just one of them, but they're all in good condition, really nice pieces. And last but not least is this grouping out of Irvington of top hats. So th there's an individual in one box and then a pair all signed. This one is Locke and Company London. They're all English top hats in really good condition. All three together at 300 to 500. And that wraps it up for my preview of the February 25th auction. We hope to see you there.